is your host, Swag Boy, from Swagboy360.com. Today's episode, BBWs Ain't Winning. You know, this subject kind of bothers me, man, because so many times I'm on my Instagram and I'm scrolling th- down through the posts and I see little memes with a fat girl and the caption be like, big girls winning. Now that's summertime, about to be over. I see all these dudes hugged up with fat girls talking about something. It's about to be cuddling season time. Get you a big girl. I see these obese women out here, overweight, just talking about the fat and proud. Shit's pissing me off. It's pissing me off because it gives off the illusion that big girls are winning. And when you hear that big girls are winning, some might believe that big girls are winning in life. But let me break it down. Let me tell you what big girls are winning. Big girls are winning. Uh, big girls are winning amongst low value men. See, big girls are winning with broke hood niggas. Big girls are winning in the poverty section of the black community. That's where y'all winning at. Because what the low budget niggas did is that they promoted the fat girls. They promote the big girls. And what we are doing in the black community is sexualizing big women. That's what we're doing. We are sexualizing big women to give them the illusion that they winning in life. But you bitches ain't winning. And I, and I say this with love. I don't say this with disrespect. You bitches ain't winning. Because you letting me, you, you, you letting broke ass Pookie and Ray Ray got you thinking that being 5'5", five, five, 250 is sexy. You let these broke ass niggas around the corner got you thinking that your jelly rolls is sexy. But it's not sexy. The only reason why it's sexy to them niggas because them niggas broke. Them niggas don't got no motherfucking options. And I'm tired of you bitches saying that motherfucking fat is thick. Fat is not thick. Okay? They two different things. But what I'm telling you fat girls is that you big girls gotta wake up, baby. I'm talking to you right now. Swag boy talking to y'all. Big girls, wake up. Wake up and lose weight. Wake up and get the jelly rolls off your stomach. Wake up and put the McDonald's cheeseburger down. Get your fat ass off the couch. Start exercising. Start really loving yourself. Truly loving yourself. Because watching yourself get fat is not love. Watching yourself get fat is giving up on yourself. Big girls, hear me out, big girls. I want all the big girls to hear me out. Y'all got to take that journey one day. Big girls, you all got to take that journey into weight loss one day. I don't know if it's in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s. But y'all fat asses gotta take that journey one day into weight loss i see it all the time this year big girls be saying i'm big and i'm proud next year two years later same fat girl saying well i gotta lose this weight same fat girl saying i want to stay healthy why not take that journey right now stop being under the illusion that big is beautiful big ain't beautiful Big is unhealthy. You see, ladies, that same guy that's sexualizing you, saying you a sexy fat girl, he's only saying it because he's a horny motherfucker. He's not saying it because he really thinks you sexy. He's saying you a sexy fat bitch because he likes to fuck you. That's it. But see, 
Here goes the tricky part, ladies. When your ass is no longer healthy, you will no longer be sexy to that man. When you can now only walk with a cane, you will no longer be sexy to that man. When your fat ass is in a wheelchair because your high cholesterol has swollen up your thighs and your legs and your ankles, you won't be sexy to him no more. See, when your health starts to fail because you want to be fat, them same motherfuckers that he was idolizing you, they not going to idolize you and sexualize you no more. Because it's hard to sexualize an un a unhealthy bitch. It's hard to do that. So that's why I'm telling you, stop giving into these niggas false uh, uh, compliments talking about you big and beautiful. Oh, I love me a big girl. I love me a big girl. They just saying that because they horny. High value men do not fuck with fat bitches. If they did fuck with fat bitches, they only going to fuck with the fat bitch to help the fat bitch lose weight. We all know when you're fat and obese, you at high risk for diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure. The average big girl got diabetes. Come on, y'all. We got to do better than that. We can't keep leading our fat bitches down the wrong road. Look at Monique Parker. Look at Monique Parker. Back in the day, back in the 90s and the early 2000s. Y'all remember Monique Parker? I'm a big girl. Where my big girls at? Look at Monique Parker now. Slimmed up. Healthy. Come on, man. How about I give y'all a recent one? How about I give y'all a recent one? And y'all can YouTube or Google this right now. Look at Adele. Remember Adele? Never mind, I find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you. To don't forget me. Y'all know the front. Y'all know the rest. Y'all know the song. Thank you. Jennifer Hudson, but the most recent was Adele, look at Adele, slimmed up, healthy, Jennifer Hudson, when she first came out, they was like, oh, I like me a big girl, stay big, but Jennifer Hudson had a man named Punk, and he got her in shape, now she lost weight, come on, y'all, stop leading these fat bitches down the wrong road, and in closing, I know I'm gonna get some... Uh, some challenges from these guys out here that claim uh, big is healthy and big is beautiful. Well, all you guys that's listening right now, I'm about to challenge you. I got some questions for you right now. All you guys out here that's listening and y'all still say y'all love big girls, swag boy about to bring it to you right now. Wherever you listen to me at, whether it be in your car, your house, your living room, wherever you at, swag boy about to bring it to you. So you like big girls, right? Would you have sex with a big girl? You might say yes. Would you be in a relationship with a big girl? I might say yes. Would you have a baby by a big girl? Most of y'all would say yes. Okay. Now here's the other question. I dare you to say yes to this one. I dare you. Would you want your daughter to be a fat, obese girl just like her mother? Got him. That was today's episode of Like, uh, Comment, Subscribe, <laughs> and I'm going to catch you on the next go-round, my nigga. Hello. <laughs>